In a groundbreaking and somewhat controversial initiative, Russian scientists are embarking on a mission to extract ancient viruses dating back up to 50,000 years from the remains of frozen animals. The project, led by the State Center for Vector Research in Virology and Biotechnology, situated in Siberia near Novosibirsk, involves collecting biological material from well-preserved specimens found in the permafrost. The team, reminiscent of the Porton Down facility equivalent in the Kremlin, is currently focused on creatures such as woolly mammoths, extinct furry rhinos, dogs, horses, elk, rodents, and prehistoric hares. Among these, the oldest specimen identified is believed to be a 50,000-year-old lemming. The high-security facility, once dedicated to Cold War biological warfare research under Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev, is now also engaged in developing Russia's second COVID-19 vaccine, aiming to rival the well-known Sputnik V. As part of their ambitious undertaking, scientists have already taken 50 samples from ancient beasts. Their collaboration with the Mammoth Museum of the Federal University of Northeast Russia in Yakutsk, renowned as the coldest city globally, is expected to yield an additional collection of well-preserved corpses. Notably, this endeavor is distinct from international efforts to clone extinct species like woolly mammoths and rhinos for potential resurrection using DNA. Dr. Olesia Oklopkova, a vector scientist leading the project, expressed the team's objective to discover paleoviruses, paving the way for the development of paleovirology in Russia. The ultimate goal is to conduct advanced research on virus evolution. However, Experts have raised concerns, cautioning that delving into the past may pose the risk of unleashing ancient viruses and potentially triggering zombie infections. Dr. Sergei Fedorov, a museum scientist with ties to the vector, acknowledged the historical association between the Mammoth Museum and the research facility. He expressed optimism about the potential discovery of paleoviruses, anticipating intriguing revelations in the realm of viruses. It's worth noting that the vector, with a history of large-scale production of smallpox and the assembly of the deadly Marburg, has been actively involved in recent years in the pursuit of cures and antidotes for various diseases, including bubonic plague, anthrax, Ebola, hepatitis B, hive, SARS, and cancer. The ambitious venture raises both scientific curiosity and ethical concerns as the scientists tread the fine line between unraveling the mysteries of the past and the potential risks associated with awakening ancient viruses. Only time will tell what discoveries and challenges lie ahead in this unprecedented exploration of prehistoric virology.